This is irresponsible f at its finest. 11 women let this man knock them up and he out here looking for love in all the wrong places. That should be like against the law. And shame to y'all left it with this trick. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? You know what time it is. Rants with Aunt Damn It. In this episode, got another Kendra G reaction video. Shout out to Kendra G. I think what she's doing is dope. The people that come on there might be a little special, but that's neither here nor there. I am not hating on the show. I think it is amazing. But y'all always get on me because y'all like the content, but then y'all say, why you always making fun of the women? This guy's just as crazy. He's just as irresponsible out here with his. He got 15 kids, and he out here looking for love in all the wrong places. Let's just get into this shit. What's the name, sir? What's your name? My name is Carmen. Carmen? Carmen. No, Quentin. Quentin? Yeah, Quentin, yes. Quentin, okay. This Quentin, old how old are you? Uh, 50. Um, do you have any kids? Uh, yes. How many kids? Uh, about 15. About 15. Hold up. This is irresponsible fucking at its finest. Look, even Kendra was like, <laughs> yeah. Kendra confused this shit too. You have 15 kids? Yes, By how many women? Uh, uh, 11. This nigga really doing math. Listen, I understand y'all motherfuckers be out here like pro life and pro choice or whatever, but 15 kids? That should be like against the law. If you make too many kids you can't afford them, they should be able to cut a nigga dick off. Who's gonna put that on the ballot for 2024? And shame to y'all left it with it. <laughs> How, give me all the kids' ages. They are wrong. They are wrong. All the ages still. Oh, shit. Oh, this nigga ain't got no teeth either. I'm That's peace, yo. I need all, all 15 ages. Kendra, you really going to make this nigga try to remember 15 ages? You think he know all their ages? I'd be surprised if he know all their ages. <laughs> Look, nigga laughing. Come on, 36. Guys. They 36, 34. Yeah. He got twins, 32. Little twin, he, he 29. Look, his mans can't even yeah, keep got, count for him. Another set of twins that's 27. God uh, damn. Uh, damn. Uh, by me telling you this and uh, giving you all that ages and all that, it's like I'm... Well, I, I asked everybody, okay. bring the camera down. Oh, I have to get okay. all the ages. How do you keep up with that many fucking kids? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven so far. So there's, uh, I it, guess. It, it's oh, man. two more Eight six more. twins. What's this? We got 24. Hold on, we got yeah, two more sets of twins? So then. Out of each of these women, I got four by one woman. Three by, by the other one. Just, just, I mean, just finish the count. Just finish yeah. the count, bro. Uh, so, yeah, this nigga having a hard time, yo. Okay. <laughs> I feel for old boy because, yo, technically, the nigga's having a hard time, like, keeping up with his own kids. He like, man, fuck them kids. I'm just trying to find a date. Kendra, why are you asking so many goddamn questions? So, Quinn, just, I mean, 11 women brought your child or children into this world. You couldn't settle down with any of those 11 women? I'm at a new place in life now, man. Hold up. Is this nigga coaching him? No fucking way, yo. I'm in a new place in life right now. I'm in a new place in life. Where the place in life you at right now? I mean, I, I'm... <laughs> I love Kendra, yo. She <laughs> funny as shit. I mean, and I want to go back and I was a gigolo, uh, pimp player and all that right there. Then, I mean, I am not change, so I'm not trying to talk about the past. You know oh, she was a gigolo? Yeah, I got These a kids were... life. Oh, you was at once a jiggler. I mean, everybody got a pad life, baby. Who the fuck is everybody? Everybody ain't no jiggler. Think out here selling his body, making mm. kids. So you were once a jiggler? I mean, your better it all out, baby. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. This motherfucking snaggle tooth bastard. Job. Uh, uh, I fit cars, sell cars. Six cars. Uh, Insurance claims, yeah. Insurance claims. We got a big shop. So you fix 
cars, sells cars, and oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Insurance claims, you know. I respect that. At least that's a, that's a that's a dope hustle. I got a lot of jobs, baby. I uh, got pressure washing business, landscaping business. That I'm nigga just be hustling. You're a what, honey? <laughs> Entrepreneur. 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 Like, Hold up, run that shit back. Did this nigga just say entrepreneur? Landscaping business. I'm entrepreneur. You're a what, honey? <laughs> entrepreneur. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you Quinn. heard what that nigga said. He said he's an entrepreneur. Now, this is Quinn. He's 50 years old. He's in the ATL. They had a 15 kids by 11 women, married once. Nigga, totally not judging. But nigga, you had 11 chances to find your soulmate. You think at 50, your soulmate is going to be online? Actually, your soulmate might be online. The world is your oyster, my nigga. Okay, Quinn, now I'm going to have you respond to this. Because you are a dad to 15. Are you involved in their lives? Yes, I am. So what, I got what most of my kids on what I'm on. Say what? One of, one, one of my sons got a car lot. One of your sons? Has a car lock. Oh, so your kids are hustlers. All my kids doing well. I got them over when I'm on. All his kids are entrepreneurs. So what'd you say to a woman that's concerned that you have 15 kids? I mean, what the thing about it? My kids grown. And, and when I meet her, she got to meet my kids anyway. Because they're going to they, they go tell it off. My kids represent me. What's some deal breakers and the type of woman you looking for? Uh... uh I mean, he had to tell that nigga what a deal breaker was. 11 women let this man knock them up. Not just once, multiple. That's peace. I want a friend that really just, you know what I'm saying? They want to have a good, good time that, you know, that want something in life. You know what I'm saying? The fuck are you, you saying? You want a friend that wants something in life. They, they want something in life. You know, somebody to guide them, to guide me. We can help each other. You know, we need somebody to grow with. I need somebody to grow with. This nigga you know sound like saying? a pimp. I think I'm with many people and everybody, you know, got the wrong intentions. You know what I'm saying? They'll use it this way, play it that way, take your heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good hearted person. He looking for a reciprocation. He looking for a what? Reciprocation. He said all of that just to say I want somebody to match my energy. What the fuck are we doing out here, yo? So you said a lot of women don't have good intentions. No, they be just using, you know, everybody. That, like... Every relationship, you meet somebody, everybody got the wrong. They don't know what they really want. You he, know get what a, he, he get money and he pay money. That's all. Yeah. So, oh, this he, nigga he a trick. He, he pay money too fast. He a trick. So he paid with the women money too fast. Yeah. When he meet a woman, he started helping her day two. This nigga a trick. No wonder you can't find a woman that's like for you because you lead with money. It's like bitches that lead with pussy. That's all you got. Niggas gonna take you for what you got and keep it moving. If you are a sucker, a sucker is going to get got every single time. And you done with that? I mean, nah, he still do that. I just look out for <laughs> you. Know, he, he just want a woman that he don't mind paying money. He just want a woman that ain't gonna just end it for the money. Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> she's a woman looking for her. I mean, yeah, she got it. You know, she got it like a woman, a beautiful woman. She's not a care of herself. That's mandatory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, you know, not. <laughs> I mean, she's like she got, got a beautiful heart, my lady, and a beautiful mind. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs guidance. Everybody needs someone to talk to. You know what I'm saying? That's that pimp language again. So niggas start telling women they need guidance. You got to watch out for the motherfuckers, man. It ain't about your looks all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can be the beautiful motherfucker in the world. Got a fucked up ass every, every day and every day. You know what I'm saying? Word. And I think most men will agree is that you could be the most physically attractive woman on the planet. But if you have an ugly soul and an ugly spirit, your looks go out the window. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No, I he, know my job. She, you know what I'm saying? He paid bills. I know my job. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's a woman, how much the, how, does it matter to you how much the woman makes? Look, even, even Kendra was fucking tongue tied. Does it matter? Does it matter? But, 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 what? Holy shit. I am going to hell. Um, Three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws to work on. Shit. Uh, $5 says he doesn't know what flaws is. <laughs> I don't like nobody lying to me. 
Run me my five dollars. I'm too good. Oh I'm too shit. Good, so I'm not get it out. The arrogance. I'm too good. I don't like that. You know I just deal with it cause I got a business. But I like I can tell we where you from you talk to me or what comes from your mouth comes from your heart. You know, you want this Niggas the, the, the that one pimp clause, lingo. your final answer? You sure? You want come up with two more. No, I ain't got <laughs> God bless Kendra Hart. Kendra is trying to save this guy. And he is constantly, at every step of the way, shooting himself in the foot. And you know what's fucked up about this? There's somebody for everybody. If y'all know Unc, tell Unc to holler at me. I, I want to know how many DMs he got after this episode. Wait, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? <laughs> I mean... I hear a payment. Yeah, I mean, you Listen, I'm not mad at old boy. <laughs> I don't really see anything wrong with him. He didn't say anything astronomical. He's not expecting some fucking supermodel. He's not expecting some woman to come here and wash his shitty drawers. He didn't say anything out of the norm other than he just wants a woman that is chill, relaxed, and likes having their bills paid. And I think that's what most women want. But this nigga misses some teeth. If you got a good dental plan, holla at Unk. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this video. I think that this shit is weird. No man should be able to father 15 kids. I personally think the cutoff number should be six. But this is America. And it's your body, your choice, your sperm, your voice. <laughs>